Hey there. In today's video, we're going to look at how to take voices from Eleven Labs, so any of your favorite voices, into Retail and into Vapi. So that's going to be an interesting one. And the use cases are that you want to explore more voices than the ones that are provided by Vapi or by Retail. And you want to go and kind of try them out, see how they sound. Um, and the best place is 11 Labs. So what you need to do is to just create a account and simply head to the library, take the language of choice. So in our case, that's going to be English, click that. And the beautiful thing is that you can select different accents. If you're interested in a specific accent, I mean, I think the most common one is uh, American or British. So let's go for American, for example. And then depending on your use case, you can simply kind of select any of, let's say, the different variations that you want, like for narrative or stories, conversational. I'm going to stick for conversational because that's generally where we will use our agents. And yeah, and you can literally just start I trying out. I what students say. Teachers can demonstrate that they are listening. I, I totally understand how you feel. Would it work if you tried talking with them again? Yeah, as you see, you can generally try a bunch of them and select Darling, always remember, your power lies in the risks you take and okay. the fire you refuse to... You can, we, we can perhaps take Alexandra as like example. So what we can do is we can go to view and then we can... So what you can do is generally if you want to save them in place, just click on add. That will kind of like put them in a library of your own so you can kind of go back and whenever you want to see the same voices, you can simply kind of check them back. Um, but what we will be needing is the ID. So we kind of click that because that is the way that we bring them into the into Vapi or Retail. So yeah, now let's go into Retail and see how to do it. So we go to Retail and then we take any of the agents that you're working on. And what we do is that we go to Add Custom Voice. Click there. And then we go here and we put our ID and you will see that the same voice kind of comes here and that's how you save it and add. Okay, so once the loading finishes, it will take a bit of time and sometimes it's also kind of giving error or it just doesn't respond. So you just need to refresh. Let's say the experience here in retail is not the best. Yeah, you can directly see it. And if you don't see it, of course, because in my case, it's called A, so Alexandra, that's pretty much easy. So just type Alexandra and then it will come out. Sweet. Okay, so let's head over to that. Oh yeah, and one small change, you need to click on this voice in order to kind of activate it. All right, so it is a little bit of a different game because we need to add the voice in first in the voice library. And Vapi, of course, changes the UI part of it. So you will see that in the community section, there is a voice library. You go there and here you can see all the voices on uh, what we need to do is click on add, search voice name to add and boom. you will find it right away. So Alexandra, let's click there. Let's add it. What's that? Okay. So in this case, the voice is already existing, like in the library. And that's very often the case with Vapi if you're going for the voices that are more is say popular so yeah in that case we don't need it but if it's like that's not present in the library then you would need to add it here all right i mean what you can also is kind of like come here check first if the voice is already present and yeah here we go it's already there and what you need to do is uh, then go to, to the assistant have alex here go to voice 11 labs you just, oh yeah, we can put uh, add ID, the voice ID here. Well, yeah, you have a choice whether to put the ID directly or just the name. I think it was called Alex, Sandra. Yeah, let's me copy this conversation for real. No voice found. Okay, in this case, I mean, I would just go for the ID. I think it's the easiest way just to add voices. So they just fetch. So I'll add voice manually, boom, and voila. Then you need to click publish. All right. That was a quick tutorial on how to add voices from 11 labs. I hope you found this useful and until next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.